The first step in solving this inequality is to take this negative 9 and to distribute it with every term inside the given parentheses. So we must multiply negative 9 times x, and we must multiply negative 9 times negative 1 as well. And negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative 9 times negative 1 gives us positive 9. At this point, you should be very careful. If you have a negative term here and a negative term here, the result or product of two negatives will always equal a positive. And then we simply drop everything else we have remaining in our inequality, which is minus 3 is less than 33. Now on the left-hand side of our inequality, we have two terms that we can still combine, which would be positive 9 and negative 3, or plus 9 and minus 3. So when we combine those two terms, we have a simplified version of this inequality, which is negative 9x plus 6. And we get the plus 6 from combining positive 9 and negative 3, or plus 9 and minus 3. And we must bring down our inequality sign again, and what's after the inequality sign. Now the next step is, we have to get rid of the plus 6. And the opposite of adding 6 is to subtract 6. What we do to one side of the sign, we must do to the other side of the inequality sign as well. Opposite integers cancel, so on the left-hand side, we only have negative 9x remaining, being less than 33 minus 6, which is 27. To get rid of the negative 9, we do the opposite of what it's doing with the variable. Because they are being multiplied, we have to divide, which is the opposite of multiplication. And we always divide by the number itself, which is negative 9, because anything divided by itself is positive 1. And that leaves us with positive 1x. We must also divide the other side by negative 9, which is negative 3. Because we divide it by a negative, we must remember we have to reverse the direction of our inequality sign. So our result is x is greater than negative 3. So to satisfy our inequality, x can be anything we want it to as long as the value is greater than negative 3.